this success that you are experiencing today in 2018, 19, 19, how is it different from the kind of success you tasted in 2012 when you made your debut with Vicky Dona and it created such a splash and people discovered you, um, you know, and, and took to you? 2012 uh, was unbelievably crazy for me because uh, that was a time when I tasted success for the first time. My first film mm. did great mm. and mm. you get a certain sense mm. of false confidence. Mm. Like your reality check goes for a toss when you, when you just explore with your first film. And there was no guiding light for me per se. You know, mm. Aditya Chopra came later in my life. Mm. Shuja Sarkar was busy with his own mm. films. Mm. He's, a, he's a recluse. He's not mm. that guy who will tell you what to do. Yeah. He's, He's an artist, he goes in his shell while making his films. So I was on my own. I had no idea how to handle success. <laughs> it was the first film I was in the limelight for the first time. It just went Some, to your head? It did. Personally it did. But for the outside world it did not. Mm. But I think it just rattles you when your mm. personal equation just goes mm. for a toss. Mm. After you know tasting success, mm. you have no time for your personal life. Mm. Everybody wants a piece of you, yeah. so it becomes really difficult. But this yeah. time around, I'm more level-headed. I can, I, I'm, I'm somewhere in between. Like I'm never too happy, never too uh, morose in a way. Yeah. In 2012, I was just too happy. I was just the world was like a, like a la la land. You know, yeah. everybody wanted, a wanted piece me. Of you. Yeah, and you were happy to give it absolutely without any discretion yeah, or any filters I thought throughout. Since childhood I wanted this mm. and it's happening now, it has happened. Mm. So why not? I was just giving 100% to everybody.